So we're here in the studio with White Wine, new soca artist, doing his thing, new to the scene, putting out new music, and we just want to know a little bit more about you. Well, right now, I'm White Wine, and that's a name that they gave me. Dr. J from Toronto gave me this name. I hear that there's a White Wine in Barbados, but we're doing something different. Uh, just basically working hard on this soca thing. I caught the bug a while ago, and I just new and experiencing it and doing it big for soca dread.com all right so tell us like how did how did you how did you get into soca how did you fall in love with soca because i know i know it's not a little part-time thing with you i see you every weekend you're fetting you're, you're hanging out with the artists you're networking so how did you really get involved in this in this industry basically i started as a rapper i've been rapping for years now and um, when i went i was in college uh, i was approached by a couple fellas they said they wanted to manage me as a rapper. So I told these fellas, I said, give me three shows, and we could conversate about doing management. They ended up never ever getting me a show, but we became friends, and through that, uh, we went to all of, the, all of the parties together. And I'm a dancer first. So for me, we kept going to all these, these dance hall parties, all these dance hall jams, and I could catch all the steps real quick, was doing it, was enjoying it, was loving it. One of the fellas that I hung with was a, was a Trini man. And he said one time, let's go to this FET. And I'm telling you from the first time I went to a FET, I was sore because it's nothing like the vibe and the happiness and the positivity in a party like that. The best way for me to, to, to give an example is, I always say this is the same thing, same story I tell everyone. If you go out on a Friday night and you're in a party, you're in a, you're in a dance hall jam, Everybody angry, and it is just the vibe of the music. And if a man step on your foot, or you step on someone else's foot, they pulling guns, they pulling fights. Everything is just a problem. But the very next night on a Saturday night, you go to a, a fete, and that same man, then you step on his shoe, he hand you a drink. So to me, I was sold on the positivity and the happiness of soca fetting, and, and that was it. Was on. All right, so. Um, you're doing music, you're recording music, because obviously we're here in the studio. Mm -hmm. um, what would you say your, your feel or your style, or, or maybe you could tell us who your influences are in terms of your music? You know what? I'm influenced by so much music. Um, at the same time, I'm trying to influence the music. I'm trying to bring my North American style, my rap style, I'm trying to bring and find that balance, that mesh between it all. Um, I must big up Radford at Jen, that's whose studio we're in right now. This man took me under his wing. He's my mentor and he's teaching me everything. If you haven't heard of a song called Old Woman Alone, then you will know who Radford Etienne is. And from there, he set the world on fire from Grenada. And uh, I must say, I must give so much respect to Grenada because they really holding me down. And I love Grenada. I love Greens. We're going to see you this year. It's going to be big. Um, and from there, I just listening to everything and I'm inspired by everyone. And I catching up on this soca thing, right? What what have you put out there? What has been the feedback? In about 2008, 2009, I put out a few feelers to see how people would respond to my soca, my sound of soca. Um, I put out a song in 2008, and basically it, it rolled over into 2009 called On the Road. We on the road again. This is a big tune for me. It, it working. I have a next song called Mr. Jam. I have a next song that came out on a rhythm for, uh, produced by Combination Studios called I'm the Shh, but we're not going to talk about that. And uh, right now, I basically have been taking everything that Radford taught me and now I'm producing myself. And uh, we just launched a mean one on them for Greens called Crack. And that's that. What do you have planned for the rest of the year? What are, what are you working on? What sort of, what can you tell us that nobody else knows? 2010 is a whole heap of secrets. Everything is a secret right now. We have some, some stuff sitting in the vault, treasure chest, and uh, uh, we all slowly let some things out. We're launching a couple more for Greens. It's coming up soon. You know, SokaDread.com going to get some exclusives on that. It's big. Trinidad in 2011. We're holding some stuff in the vault for that. So basically, we just working every single day, 
Every weekend we in the studio. Every night we in the studio perfecting the craft. If anybody wants to get in contact with you, if anybody wants to know more about you, how can they find you? you are you online? We online. Uh, you know, it's myspace.com slash white wine music. It's facebook.com slash white wine music. It's white wine music at gmail.com. And uh, basically, Soka Drake can get you any of the information you want to check in. That's my brother in a long time. We hook it up. That's it. Easy to get a hold of. All right, all right. Um, Carabana, you're in Toronto. Any, yes, any, any plans that you can let us know or hopes right now, for Carabana? It, it looked like I'll probably be on a truck with Callaloo. A um, couple of people is calling me trying to figure out some things. It might be alongside Silva, might be alongside Dale, might be alongside Father Fox. Because um, it's kind of early right now, so everything's kind of confused. Scrappy looking to come back. Scrappy and I was on the truck last year doing a thing. Um, basically, just working hard. Tribe Toronto, I don't know what's going on with that. So maybe something there once that's all sorted out. And yeah, Caravan is going to be big this year. All right, cool. Hey, it's 2010 White Wine, and if you don't know, you better know soon time. Every mixtape is crank, every radio is crank, every DJ is crank, and if you're not crank, you get in crank. And spin that, just spin that crank, spin that, just spin that crank, spin that, just spin that crank. Give me momentum, boom. You don't know we down here, 89.5 CIUT, Island Reason, DJ Bass, DJ Chief. Miss Page in the building right now, we setting it all up on the radio, so can you dot com excuse it. Done. Get the back gala, get the dig back gala, get the dig back gala, hush your mouth, put ting back gala, get the dig back gala, get the dig back gala, get the dig back gala, hush your mouth, push ting back gala. Don't try to take but a better now, don't try to take but a better now, don't try to take but a better now, oh gala, oh gala, don't try to just take but a better now, don't try to just take but a better now, don't try to just take but a better now, oh gala, oh gala, six six, get the dig back gala. This whole song is me. Everything about this song is me. I have a, I have a fella named Jax, who soon we were introduced to the world, who, who, who helped me out a little bit on it. He did some of the backup vocals, but uh, pretty much this whole song is me, and I, I say that with so much pride. You don't know it's Mr. White Wine on 89.5. We island breezing. If you don't know, you better know. Grab your right, grab your flag, and spin that crank. Mm -hmm. Oh, you free. <laughs> Are you afraid? 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 Just quick it 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 I really have been in the soccer maybe three, four years now. I hooked up with a producer named Radford Etienne, and I always big him up because that's my mentor, that's my teacher. All right, that's it. We just left the building. It's SokaDread.com exclusive. CIUT 89.5 FM. I'm here. They're finishing it. They're wrapping it up. White wine. Big time. Don't know. Spin that crank. If it's a movement, if you don't believe it, ah, do it. Okay, let's go. 2010 Soka, we crank that. You ready? You don't know it's white wine, and every mixtape is crank. Every DJ is crank. Every radio station crank. If you're not crank, you're not getting it right. And if you don't know, for 2010, we're killing it. That's all I got. I forget everything after that. Every me.